Today on the channel, we're looking at the best of the best, the cream of the crop, as we count down the top 10 Mattel WWE Elite figures of 2022. The spirit of the Warrior will run forever! Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another year-end countdown best of list, and today we got a big one. We're counting down my top 10 favorite Mattel Elites of 2022, and we know the Elite line is a line that just won't stop. I don't know anybody besides Marvel Legends is right up there, but I think Elites have them topped as how many figures are released on a yearly basis. When you got the regular traditional Elite line, you got Amazon exclusives, Ringside exclusives, you got the Pay-Per-View series, the legend series there's so much product out there it is tough to dive through all of it but that's what i've done i've sat here today i've digged through it all i've went through it all and you guys know we reviewed them all on the channel this year so any of these videos or any of these characters in the top 10 you can check out their review video if you want to very, very deep year, of course, in the Elite line. A lot of legends, a lot of new faces, a lot of old faces in the line. Just an absolute fabulous year. And I do say the Elite line was really the line of the year. I'd say that and G.I. Joe Classified, the top two that were giving us banger after banger, as one might say. Just a lot of good figures this year. And it was very tough to get my list together. But I did it. I always do. And I'm going to ask you guys the same thing. Get your list together. Get your top 10 favorite Elites of 2022 and make sure you put them in order. Start at number 10, work your way to number 1, and we'll see what happens. But without further ado, let's get after it. Let's start it off, and let's kick it off at number 10. All right, let's kick off the list. Let's start it off at number 10, How's Bout. But number 10 comes to us from Elite Series 91, one of my all-time favorite wrestlers, a guy in the 90s that revolutionized the business and revolutionized my fandom in wrestling, the ECW staple. Of course, he did go to the WWE. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Mr. Monday Night. We're talking about Rob Van Dam in his iconic Tiger Stripe outfit. Is RVD ready to join Tiger Force? He very, very well could be a G.I. Joe guy in disguise here in the Joes. Uh, but who knows? But RVD, a perfect one. A throwback a singlet on RVD. And he's had so many classic singlets over the years, including the one that was canceled. Have to bring this bad boy out. As we did unbox this, we did the unthinkable unbox this on the channel this year. Very, very cool rising sun one of course this was canceled this was the chase version but the regular version was good enough on its own uh between the two i like this one more because it has ecw on the back but i can't count this in the top 10 because it wasn't released to the general public but this one definitely was and this one is definitely still cool mr monday night rvd and his tiger stripe absolutely do love this of course grab the ecw belt to put with him had to do that for sure just fabulous to get rvd figures again we know we got a ruthless aggression one and i hope 2023 brings us some more rvd figures but to get the tiger stripe one in 2022 good enough to land at number 10 in my year-end countdown all right we're at the number nine spot and the number nine figure for me was my most wanted figure from 2021 into 2022 if you remember me discussing that this is something i've wanted for a heck of a long time and i was happy 2022 was the year we finally did get this and it was very interesting a couple months after this came out i did read an interview or i watched an interview with bill mckenna of course the head designer on the elite line and he said this was something he really wanted to bring to the table and i think in the same breath he said terry funk's his favorite wrestler too so bill mckenna and i could be almost twins just different haircuts i guess but uh, bill mckenna and i are on the same page on this one very excited to get this this year in 2022. This one comes from the Target Legends line. Legends Series 14 coming in at number 9. We got the Master of the Heart Punch. We got Mean Mark Callis. And we've talked about it for eons here on the channel. How I grew up, my first incarnation was Mean Mark Callis. And a lot of the shine of The Undertaker for me was wore off when he became The Undertaker. I said, that's just Mean Mark Callis. What are we doing here? And we talked about the playground. Nobody knew who Mean Mark was. So The Undertaker was something next level for them. Some of the shine was worn off on me as a little kid, unfortunately. And I never really gravitated to Supernatural. Undertaker. I really did prefer Biker Taker or this version of The Undertaker, believe it or not. 
But to get an old school WCW figure is always really cool. But to get Mean Mark Skyscrapers version, Heart Punch version, man, you're playing all the hits. You're chiming right up my tree. Uh, I absolutely do love this Mean Mark figure. I understand it's not for everybody, but if you're an Undertaker fan, you owe it yourself to get this figure. Beautiful soft goods, beautiful early Undertaker head sculpt, uh, just beautiful body structure. Oh, the beautiful body structure. Yes, it has that. Uh, the pinless joints, all that jazz there. Just an absolute fabulous one. A perfect one for an exclusive as well. Mean Mark coming in hot at number nine. All right, we're feeling great at number eight. And number eight is one of the things I love. There's a lot of stuff I love. Of course, I love a good hairy bipedal creature. I love my face paint. I love my mass wrestlers. But I also love Giants. I'm a guy that loves the land of the Giants. And our number eight selection comes to us from Elite Series 97. We've got Omos. Now, Omos, I understand, not the greatest in the ring. He is being used very sparingly lately on TV, which I think is a smart thing for a Giant with his limited skill set, to put it best. But this figure is next level. I really did assume we were going to get that basic and that was going to be it. They weren't going to give us an elite Omos. But here it is, Mattel stepping up. Much like they did with a Dewdrop body style, they gave us a giant body style. A bigger giant body style, which I think could pay dividends in the future if Commander Aziz ever gets an elite, which I don't think that's going to happen, but I think they were looking towards that to the future. He could have used this body style, but my hope for the future is a giant Gonzalez possibly with this body style. Maybe they mix a great Kali in here. Who knows? The future is pretty bright for the Giants, but this Giant shined above all the other ones. Absolutely love the looks of this. Of course, you get the title belt. You got a necklace with him, but his giant size is what won me over. Just absolutely fabulous. A good looking figure. And here's hope to the future with this one. So Omas coming in at number eight. All right, we're at the number seven spot in the countdown here. And if you remember where I talked about Mean Mark really wanting that one in 2022, this was another character I really wanted in 2022. This is one of the most requested figures for a lot of fans out there, myself included. Coming in at number seven, Elite 95, Shotzi Blackheart. So cool to get Shotzi. Talk about Toyetic. You get the helmet, the green hair, all the tattoos. Just an absolute fabulous figure. And like I said, I was really, really wanting this one. I love my heavy metal style figures. That's what Shotzi represents right here. Just an absolute phenomenal, phenomenal figure. A lot of people said, where's her tank? Well, that's not really the easiest to do. Maybe in the future in a Build-A-Figure set, maybe a ringside exclusive. I think that's our best chance at getting a tank for Shotzi. But I wouldn't put it past Mattel to get it to us one of these days soon, especially as she has been coming to the ring at that. Uh, now that things have changed over there at the WWE, her tank is back. I think there is a good chance we'll get that down the line. It'll be interesting to see what Shotzi figures we get into the future. Uh, will we get basics? Will we get more elites? I guess you never really can tell, but I'm very, very happy with Elite 95 Shotzi. So happy, in fact, she came in at number seven in my top 10 list. All right, we're at the number six spot in our countdown here, and we go to Elite Series 96. We go to a figure so nice, I bought it twice, or maybe even three times, actually. Who are we talking about? We're talking about a guy that's no stranger to action figures. We're talking about Hulk Hogan. And we got a two-in-one Hulk Hogan here. And that's why I had to buy two. I still got one in package. We'll see what I end up doing with that one. But man, oh man, deep cuts, I love them. Hulk Hogan with the hot dog tan, I love them. A lot to like about Elite Series 96 Hulk Hogan here. Now, the Hulk rules bandana, so absolutely iconic. Whenever I think of Hogan in a bandana, that is what I think of. Not so iconic, I would say, but also kind of Russell Crap edition, I guess you would say, is the fisted helmet. Talk about a deep cut from the Hulkster. Only wore a couple times, but awesome to be immortalized forever in action figure form. The license plate as well, on top of the pinless joints, all that kind of stuff. And for a lot of people, this would be the main Hogan in their display. This really got the look of the Hulkster down. It's a perfect figure, different ways to display him. Take the helmet off, take everything everything off. It's a perfect wrestling Hogan. Just a heck of a lot to like about this one. Just an absolute fabulous version. The hot dog tan puts it over the top for me. Just very, very good Hulkster. So good, in fact, he came in at number six in my year-end countdown. All right, we're at the number five spot. We're at the halfway point. Do you got your list together? 
make sure you put it in the comments down below. And if you like countdown lists, you like action figures, make sure you subscribe to this very YouTube channel. But number five comes to us from the all-time great, the greatest of all time. You know who that is. We go to the Survivor Series Elite line. We go to the Ultimate Warrior. And you guys know I'm biased. I love myself some Ultimate Warrior. And we got quite a few Ultimate Warriors between a few different lines in 2022. It's a little interesting. Not a lot of Warrior news going into 2023 so i hope we get five warriors in 2023 that would be perfect for somebody like me but i hope we at least get a couple i know a lot of people are wore out on the hulk hogan ultimate warrior figures but man i'm not i'm not give me all the warriors but this is a cool version of warrior from the survivor series one of the greatest if not the greatest survivor series uh event of all time and definitely the greatest survivor series team of all time is what this represents here he is of course the only survivor he is the ultimate warrior very very toy as all the Ultimate Warrior figures are. Love the extra hands for the extra personality here. The worst part of this figure, if I could find any faults, and the reason it goes to number five and it's not at number one for me, is just a little bit of the head sculpt. And it's funny, it's very similar to the Hall of Champions, which is my favorite Ultimate Warrior look ever. This one with the hair and just the, the paint being a little bit different, it's just not as iconic to me as maybe that one for sure, even though it possibly should be. Uh, but a fabulous, fabulous figure. You cannot go wrong with this Ultimate Warrior. Strongly recommended. Highly recommended and coming in at number five in my top 10 year in countdown list all right we're at the number four spot and the number four one has a lot in common with me we're both from the midwest we're both big dudes we're both happy-go-lucky well maybe not the happy-go-lucky part who are we talking about at number four well we're going to elite series 99 we're going to the regular edition Brock Lesnar. Of course, Cowboy Brock Lesnar coming to us in action figure form. Man, I'm here for it all day long. Love the cowboy hat. Love the title belt with Brock nameplates on it. And you guys do remember this was the Chase Edition as well in Elite Series 99. It's funny as the Chase Edition was way down here. The Cowboy Brock, this edition, way up here. I didn't like the Chase one. I didn't like the color combinations to that one. This one I really do like. This is out of the farm, straight off the farm, straight off the tractor, Brock Lesnar and it just feels different and it's so cool to get some characters that feel different because we get so many Brock Lesnar's and they always kind of look the same. This totally different, a whole new personality to Brock Lesnar in 2022, captured perfectly in action figure form right here. I really do like this. And the other thing I like about this, a lot about like we talked about with Omos, getting a new body style, getting a new mold for something like this, this works great for Brock Lesnar. But I look to the future. Could we see a Godwins in our future? Could we see somewhat of an updated Hillbilly Jim? Is there some ways we could go? Could we get a, a TL Hopper? Didn't he wear suspenders sometimes? Or uh, overalls, I should say. Maybe we can get some more figures out of this mold. And I think that's what Mattel is doing, looking to the future a little bit with stuff like this. But whatever reason we got it, I'm happy we got it. So happy, in fact, he came in at number four in my year-end list. I can't believe it. We're down to the final three figures in my top ten year-end list. We're getting dangerously close to the end, but we're at number three right now. Top three. And number three comes to us from Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. But we got an awesome one. We got a lot of good exclusives from Ringside in 2022. I do expect that to continue into 2023. Can't wait to see what they have for us. But number three comes from Ringside. It is the NWO Elite Hollywood Hulk Hogan. How about this one in the red and black attack? Now, it does lose a couple of points to me because it doesn't have that beautiful straight-off-the-roller hot dog tan that we love with the Hulkster. But in this instance, I can look past it. Beautiful soft goods. Always love the pants on this one. This one reminds me of the perfect update to the old Jack's Classic Superstar release. You get the glasses. You get the bandana. You get the old two sweet hands. You get the beautiful title belt, which we haven't got since, I think, ringside collectible Kevin Nash back in the day. Just a lot to like about this NWA Hulkster. NWO Hulkster, I should say, not NWA. Uh, looking really, really good. You got the belt with him as well around his waist. This one was so nice, I had to buy it twice. I picked up a mint on card version, which I normally don't do with all the Hulk Hogan figures, but it looks so cool. I just had to have it in my collection as a mint on card example as well. Just absolutely phenomenal representation of the Hulkster during this, this time period. So it just couldn't go wrong. Had to be on my list. Had to come in 
at number three. All right, we're at the number two spot in the countdown here. Number two was not on my card to get released in 2022, but man, I was happy it was. An awesome performer, one of my all-time favorite performers. If I was doing a Mount Rushmore, he would be on it. Who is it? It is my old personal friend. You know I hung out with him. I shared a pizza dinner with him. I hung out with him and worked with him for a weekend. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Chainsaw Charlie himself. We're talking about Terry Funk coming in as Chainsaw Charlie at number two. You guys knew I had to buy two of these with the extra heads here. Of course, this old Terry Funk head leaves a little bit something to be desired. And as I talked about earlier, Bill McKenna, a huge Terry Funk fan, apparently. I do hope we get some new Terry Funk blood in the future. Give us uh, some of his other ECW looks. Give us some of his different looks over the years. I would love it if we could get an old school Funk Brothers in the Legends line. Give me that. Anything Terry Funk, I will definitely take. But Chainsaw Charlie, I did not expect this year. Very happy we got it, of course. Attitude Era Supreme. So a lot of people, a lot of collectors that collect Attitude Era, Era, had to pick this one up. Love the chainsaw. Love the outfit. Got the interesting uh, suspenders on him that can be pulled down. Uh, you've got, of course, the jeans going on, the red shirt, and then the double heads. We got the old school Terry Funk head released once again, but then we got the chainsaw Charlie head, which I think does work really good. They could have went different ways. They could have gave us the Jacks version with kind of the pantyhose over. I think this worked better for what they were trying to accomplish. Absolutely love it. Anytime we get a Terry Funk figure, to be, but to get an off-the-wall version of Terry Funk like this, man, I'm here for it. I'm here for it so much. He came in at number two in my top ten list, and now we're at the end. Who is the number one WWE Mattel figure of 2022 as voted by me? Stay tuned. All right, here we are. We're at the end of the countdown and one of the hardest countdowns to do here on the channel as we finish up and find out what truly is the best of 2022. And of course, the winner of this video goes into the big Royal Rumble of all the other winners. And we go to the G.I. Joe winner, the Marvel Legends different winners. Uh, we go to the Miscellaneous winner. We go to the AEW winners. We put all of the winners into a countdown list and we're going to find out what truly was the best action figure of 2022. So make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you give this video the old thumbs up. It always does help. And make sure you do uh, follow along every day as we got videos every single day, like I always say. But we're here. We're at the number one spot. Hopefully you got your list together. But number one for me was an interesting one. Another one I didn't expect this year. I definitely did not expect when we got this figure that it would be as good as it is. This is a guy I fell in love with before he even came on to NXT TV. He has went up to the main roster. Unfortunately injured at WrestleMania this year. Coming in hot from Elite Series 98, the regular edition, Rick Boogs. Yes, Rick Boogs got the number one spot here. Of course, he is a good heavy metal brother. Heck, he even has a Megadeth tattoo on his action figure. Can you believe that? How cool is that? And I saw videos of him way back in the day playing shredding some Judas Priest, doing squats at the same time. Sign me up all day long. That's what I'm looking for. And I think if Rick Boogs and I met in real life, I think we would instantly become best friends. I think that's exactly what would happen. But besides all that, this figure is absolutely fantastic. Anytime you get a guitar accessory, sign me up. And it's so cool to get a guitar that just doesn't crumble in your hands like traditional guitar over the years. This one stays together pretty, pretty darn good. It is a flying V-type guitar. It's not just your standard uh, run-of-the-mill acoustic guitar, things like that. They could have really cheapened out, gave us that, but no, they went all in with a very, very stylized heavy metal guitar, which I think is really cool. Of course, you get the pinless joints, all that kind of stuff, which is always awesome. They took it a step farther here in two different directions. They have a ponytail that is removable. Of course, we know he, should, he did cut his hair on the main roster with Shinsuke Nakamura, so you can put either version. You want old-school Rick Boogs with the ponytail? You you want the short hair version hey pick your poison right there then the other thing is that you gave that new technology that we've seen with Seth Rollins we've seen with the Undertaker Rick Boogs gets it here for his suspenders you can pull those straps down if you want to very very cool I prefer this one over the red one I like the red one a lot but this one catches my eye a little bit more even though it doesn't have the bright colors of the red one 
This one is absolutely fantastic. Just a very cool figure. Say what you want. Even if you don't like Rick Boogs, you don't like anything about him, I think everybody should probably have this on their top 10 list because it is such a cool figure. I like what they did, and they gave us stuff different. And a lot of times these lists, we don't just get the paint-by-number stuff. We get stuff that feels different, looks different, feels like the business is moving forward. That's what this Rick Boogs represents on top of the cool Heavy Metal brother stuff that we have on here as well. So a very, very cool figure. So cool, in fact, he is number one on my top 10 2022 Mattel Elites of 2022. So there you go. But what say you guys? What do you guys think of my list? As you guys know, it is my list, so it can't be wrong. But let me know your thoughts on my list. Let me know your list. Put it in order. I want to see it. I want to see what you thought the best of the best was in 2022 from the Mattel Elite brand. Stay tuned on the channel. Like I said, we're going to have a big Royal Rumble. We're going to see how Rick Boogs fares against all the other good action figures of 2022. Can't wait to do that video fairly soon on the channel and even sooner on Patreon. As Patreon, you get early access to all the videos. You get bonus content, exclusive content, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. A lot going on over there on the old Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget to hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 over there on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Rick Boogs and the rest of the Mattel Elites of 2022, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.